Okay, so I thought of a cool thing. If you guys have watched my videos, we got this old girl right here. It's just the metal rocket stove. And I've been watching a whole bunch of good bushcraft videos like crazy lately. So I wanted to try to make one out of a log. So this is the one, and I've never done this before, so just bear with me, but it's pretty basic. Okay, so all the research I've been doing, they say between a one inch bit and a two inch, and I have an inch and a quarter in the garage, so we're just gonna wheel that one. But I can tell you already, I wished it was longer, because we're only gonna go about five inches down, and we're bring, gonna catch some fish. Well, I already got it in the freezer, but we're gonna fry some fish up on it and see how it tastes. I think it's gonna be great, and I've always wanted to try this. All right, so being very scientific, I'm just gonna mark it about here, I'm gonna go straight up, and then I'm gonna bring it back probably an inch, because you gotta account for where it's gonna hit the end of the drill here, so we gotta make sure it goes all the way in. Flip it up, make it a lot easier. Cause usually I do everything the hard way. Surprise. I'm gonna block this a little easier. All right, we did it. See, it's not that hard to hit the hole. Just gotta put some sawdust in it. We're just gonna check it with uh, some light here to make sure we're through all the way. Cause we're finishing this video out in the the nature. We're going to the nature in the morning. It's it's laid out tonight. But I want to make sure you guys can be the witness. Looking good. We're feeling good. I like it. I like it. So hey, how'd you get in here? All right, we're gonna finish this tomorrow and see what happens. I'm pretty excited. This is gonna be cool. I've actually really wanted to do this for quite a while. So we're gonna do that. See you then. All right, day two, and I'm freaking pumped about this. What we're gonna do first? We're gonna try and get it going. I brought some fish and some onions, and we're gonna try and fry it up and see how good this tastes. All right, let's see if we can start a fire. Now, no judgment, this is my first time doing this. And lately, I've been watching so many bushcraft videos, this is all I wanna do is go and cut freaking logs down and build trees. I'm driving the wife insane with these videos. Jess, get over here. Come here. Dog's trying to run away. Well, not run away. Come here, get over here. So we're gonna wing this, see how we do. So the basic rule of thumb is you just put the embers in, we're gonna get some hot, we're gonna shove them down the bottom. I got a bunch of leaves, we're gonna crumple up and put down there too. And the hair is gonna be, come through the bomb, pushed out to the top, and heat rises, and it should burn. So we'll see what we can do. Freaking excited. So I'm just gonna crumple these up. I'm gonna shove them in there. I'm gonna start a couple on fire. I know I'm cheating with the torch, <laughs> but we're in a hurry today. Get her buck in here. Should take off, I think. There's a lot of embers in there now. So it almost wants to go, but it keeps dying out. I think I would definitely go with a two inch bit. It needs a little more airflow. And if you guys know, there's those Swedish ones you can make people chainsaw them to get a lot more airflow. So I'm just gonna split the one side a little bit, get a little air going in it. Then I think it'll go. Cause it's so close, it's so close. We're gonna feed her a little more air. Like it's got a flame in there, but we need a little more air, so we're just gonna help her out just a little bit. I don't go too hard and split right now. Then we have nothing. Cause I got no drill out here. I wanna get one of those hand crank ones. I think that'd be pretty cool. Should have a wedge to put in there now. So that's almost doing it right there too. We'll make this a Swedish one time we're done. That's another one I wanna try. I'm gonna go try to find a wedge. Cause this is gonna do it. Here we go, baby. These will work. She's almost going. That works. Nice, yeah. sweet, well that's all it took. Definitely go more than an inch and a quarter, I'd go two for sure. That's awesome, freaking sweet. Okay, let's fire this girl up. We're gonna get some stuff ready. 
I went and got some cobble. Maybe I should move you closer. So I went and got some cobble. We're gonna use that for the uh, plate. She's cooking in there, baby. That's so cool. Got some onions. I'm just gonna put this right here for now. Throw the baby on top. Oh, the fabulous timing when my battery dies. Just so we get her fired up. Oh, we're keeping this very, very basic. Just onions, some trout, and I just got some butter, olive oil, and salt and pepper. It's awesome, it's easy, I love it. I like butter. We love butter. Crack some onions. That's it, that's all it takes. I'm not exactly level here, but that's all right. We'll do her. I do not have time for these onions right now. I'm in a freaking hurry, I'm hungry. So we're gonna slap on the trout and we're just gonna throw the rest of the butter on because why not? And a little olive oil to really get it. Get all the oils. <laughs> May have overdone it on that, but nah. Oh no. And salt and pepper. Basics, it is easy and it just tastes great. I like a lot. So that was the main problem. I'd do the Swedish style if you can have a smaller hole. If not, put at least a two inch. It needs more air because I fought with it probably 15 minutes off the camera. But once it got going, once we split, you've seen that. Just took right off. That's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. I didn't bring any cutlery. I just got the knife, so that's okay. She'll work. The smell. Too bad you can't smell it through the camera lens. <laughs> they need an app for that, right? You deserve a close up. It's just so good. This is so sweet. Something so easy to do. This is my first time doing it. it. Worked out easy. It wasn't hard. Anybody can do this. If I can do it. That's awesome. All right, beautiful people, it's almost done. Oh, it smells good. Check this out. And I, like I was saying, oops, that's, that's overdone. Too busy running around filming with my thumbnails, but it's done. A little overdone, but that's okay, we'll still eat it. Whoa, that could have been bad. Quick taste test and then get a bounce here. Trout is one of the best things to eat. I, I don't care what anybody said. Oh, well, perch is pretty good too. Hmm. 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 That's all I got, guys. Hmm. Hope you like it. Something easy to do. I'll definitely do it again, but I'm gonna do a full Swedish one next time. I'm gonna be a lot cooler. It'd be a lot easier to get going. So, see you next one. Thanks a lot.